Okay, so this is uh, Lubuntu 19.10 uh, by Monkapi, and uh, it's a build. Basically, he's taken Lubuntu and he's uh, personalized it and put all sorts of things on it. I really like the fact that Belena Etcher is on there, um, so you can write your SD cards with that. I haven't seen that in an Ubuntu build before. Let's just agree to these cookies. Um, so you can see that it looks the same as if you're used to using it on Windows or a Mac, uh, which is a really nice addition. Uh, there's, uh, well this image is about 32 gig, it's about 5 gig as a download um, and I've got it on a 32 gig stick. Now I really need to have it on a bigger one because it, it's already reporting there's not enough space. Um, so really if you're going to download this image you want to be putting it on a 64 gig or bigger. Uh, Gparted comes in it to resize the partition but you can't resize the partition if the memory stick's too small, uh, which is what's happened in this case. Uh, so the password is monkapi. I'll just click OK on that. There you go, and here's Gparted. Uh, and if I try to extend this stick, uh, I can't because it already is uh, full up. So yeah, get a bigger SD card and try this out because what's on it is, is an awful lot. So you can see there's a media center on there. There's uh, 3D graphics support. Uh, if I go down, this scraper uh, looks like uh, I read a bit, little bit about it. Things like RetroPie and RetroArch and things like that. It looks like it gathers all the the artwork and the information about the games. So if you're into your retro games, really, really good. You can see a massive amount of things are installed uh, in here. But at the moment, because this is an early build, uh, I've tried. Uh, Dreamcast works, but very slow. Uh, same with P PSP, uh, really wasn't that great. So not so good uh, for emulation at the moment, but uh, it's fine on the older systems. Uh, and I'll show you what they are. So let's, and I'll put a link in the description to this so you can download it yourself. So let's close down Firefox um, and go to the, so things like accessories, you can see all sorts in here education, but games is really what I was interested in in this. So DOSBox emulator, Dolphin, so Wii and GameCube emulator, uh, then Amiga emulator, Arcade. Mednaf is a, a host of uh, emulators, all sorts of things in there. Plus you've got uh, these uh, real-time strategy games, so Red Alert I really liked and Tiberian Dawn. I've tried this on some of other of Pie's other builds of RetroPie and they worked really well in that. Uh, RetroArch, uh, this is about the sort of graphical RPG games, the Abaus, which is uh, a Saturn emulator, as it just tells you, and RetroPie. So if I launch that, you can see it comes up. But because my memory stick is too small, it keeps asking me to reconfigure my controller. So I need to put it on a bigger stick and play around with it. But I think I'm probably going to wait for the next version of this, uh, just because uh, I want to play those 32-bit games and, uh, and see what they run like. But just a quick video basically just to show you. Uh, and it comes with full office installed. Uh, so LibreOffice, some programming bits in there. So sound, system tools, Muon package manager, which I like, which works very well. So thanks to Monkapi, this looks like a very promising build and I'll definitely be coming back here this in the future. I've found that uh, Ubuntu 20.04 runs very well already even though it's in beta so i'll be interested to see what you can do with that and uh hope this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe